Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jordan Antonio Brown. I'm 23 years old and I play for Cavalry FC in the Canadian Premier League. Hey guys, what's up? William Acura here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit more different. I'm gonna be having Jordan Brown take over. So Jordan Brown is from London, England. And you know, I'm gonna be asking him questions about his growth, his youth, and where he is today. So I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. Make sure you watch the full video. It's gonna be some good content. It's gonna be some good things he's gonna be talking about, especially for you young, aspiring athletes that are trying to be professional soccer players one day. Please check it out, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video, and let's get straight to it. Yeah, that uh, stage was very unique um, growing up as I experienced two sides of it, uh, one being in school, and then one um, when I finished school being full-time. So um, they both geared me up for the moment, uh, which was to make my debut, and... Um, yeah, so the first part, you're young, 8 to 16, I was going to school and then getting ready after school quickly. My dad would take me to um, the other side of London and um, yeah, he'd watch me watch me train. Um, I'd be there three times a week um, and I'd get home about 10.30 at night. So um, that was like a, a real eye-opener for me, um, learning how it is to be a pro from early and then... Um, the second part was 16, uh, being full-time at West Ham, and that was quite unique as well. Um, obviously, people, um, you know, they they want to be a footballer. You're there for a reason. So, you know, everyone's drilled in and everyone's focused. So, um, yeah, you're just around like-minded people who want to achieve the same goals. Um, some kind of get sidetracked, so you need to be the one who's always focused and on point you know whether that be uh on time or whether that be in training you know so um yeah playing for academies uh, they kind of taught me how to be a pro and gave me a little bit of an insight the differences between europe and north america um i speak about this all the time um there's not much differences actually um obviously at the top level there's uh, Big difference, you know. Uh, all the teams uh, who are at the top level, they all play in uh, Europe, whether that be Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. Um, so to get to that stage, you know, you need to be an elite footballer and um, somebody who's just got that special talent or that special thing that they do. Um, but having said that, you know, if you start to look at all the other leagues in Europe and, um, you know, the average player or... Um, things like that. It's not much difference, to be honest, um, compared to the average player over here in North America. Um, obviously, you have MLS and then you have a CPL over here. Um, so, yeah, I'll say I'll say the average player over here, you know, we can do the same things that players in Europe can do, maybe in um, a league like, you know, there's leagues out there like Cyprus and leagues like that, Greece, um, you know, obviously it's on a bigger magnitude and a bigger scale, but um, you know, it's not much, it's not not much difference if you compare the average player there to the average player here. Um, players here can control the ball. Um, you know, they're very athletic, um, clever players. Um, having said that, um, if you can do the basics, normally that is what makes you stand out in front of other people at this level. But when you get to the other levels, then um, you always have to have that special thing about you so whether that be scoring goals or whether that be um, like a, a skill or take on that you do um, where nobody can stop you or nobody ever gets past you as a defender so um, I would say those are the differences uh, some of my greatest moments growing up and playing um, I would say you know playing with my brother um, in the garden, that's where it all started type of thing. Um, he was older than me, seven years older than me, so I just used to, you know, try and see what he did, learn off him, um, things like that. And then other memories, uh, you know, 
whether that be uh, have a lot of mem memories playing against um, Chelsea Academy, um, you know things like that, and then obviously going on to uh, playing for England, my country uh, where I was born. So um, a lot of memories and moments uh, growing up that got me to this stage. Yeah, um, that moment where I scored uh, against Whitecaps, uh, that was a special moment, you know, uh, leading up to the game. Um, that's why I tell everyone that mindset is very important because um, I had to have a good mindset going into that game because I didn't know whether I was going to start or whether I was going to be on the bench, but um, I had to be ready, you know, and uh, I was ready. So when I came in, it was like, um, you know, it was like how I've been playing pretty much the whole season when that wasn't the case at the time where half of the season up until that point I, I never really uh, played as much as I would like to um, I was on the bench a lot and I'm um, coming off the bench so um, starting that game and um, scoring that goal was a was a big moment for me and um, you know it kind of relieved our whole team uh, in the first seven minutes I think I scored so uh, Whitecaps, they had to go score two goals as it was a you know a, a tie a tie game um, in the first one um, and you know they never scored a away goal so uh, scoring it was it was a big relief for all of us and you know for for me to get a finish like that with my left foot uh, it was a really something a really special moment yeah. Uh, the idea and the goal for um, my company uh, 4258 is just simply uh, to, you know, give players, whether that be professionals or whether that be younger players coming up, uh, inspiration to come and um, just kill the game uh, in football. So I feel like um, there was information that wasn't given to me when I was younger and um, I feel like I need to give that back. Um, I don't know everything now, but I have enough uh, information, enough knowledge now to know the right things to do in certain situations. And having a lot of friends that I've played with who've gone on and to have even better careers than, I, than I've had, um, then that's something that I would want to share with everyone. So um, we do interviews, we do uh, training drills, we do pro tips, we do health tips. Um, we also are going into other things such as highlights and things like that. So, yeah, um, 4258, uh, check it out. Important things to tell young aspiring footballers, I would say um, practice is key, but that's cliche. So how you practice is just with the ball. So you won't realise it when you're really, really young. I, I didn't realise it, but... All those hours playing either at school in the playground, after school with my friends or neighbours and going to training, uh, all those hours me playing has led me to this moment and without those hours I wouldn't be where I am now, you know, so um, practicing, practicing, practicing but that's just done, having fun and playing, um, you know, with your mates or whatever it may be. Um, secondly, I would say, um, you know, go with your instincts always, either that be on the pitch or would be outside the pitch, uh, off the pitch, go with your instincts. Always uh, trust what um, inside is telling you what the right thing is to do. So whether that be make that right pass or shoot when you should shoot. How many times do you say after a game, ah, oh, that chance I should have shot when I didn't shoot, you know? So um, never have those kind of regrets and go with your gut instinct. I would give that type of advice. Uh, the brand new CPL league, um, to me, it means it means a lot because um, it's given me a platform where I can uh, consistently show um, how good I am. And um, you know, at the time, there was a few other options where I could have gone to. So, um, but you know, having chosen CPL and this has been like the place where I've kind of called home at the moment uh, so for me it, it means a lot and especially even more uh, cavalry uh, means a lot to me so um, just creating moments and sharing moments with my teammates has meant the world so just can't wait to
create even more moments and uh, you know share more moments with my teammates. Uh, some advice that I got uh, growing up that I still keep with me today is, um, you know, I made mistakes when I was younger where uh, in the game, outside the game, where maybe that would have, um, you know, made me an even better player um, where I have had to learn from. So I always say that people told me this before, but um, always stay focused and uh, the job you have in hand in terms of you want to be a professional player. So dedicate your whole life to that and dedicate everything around that whether that be sleeping eating um, how you train etc looking after your body so all of those type of things and also um, you know a clever person learns from their mistakes but a wise person learns from other people's mistakes so any advice that somebody who's credible you know um, who's done it before who's played the game and they're giving you advice in certain situations like oh when I was younger uh, this happened to me and I had to learn from it etc they're telling you because they've been through it and you don't need to go through it if you don't have to so they're telling you so you don't have to go through that so take their advice use it and you know you'll you'll be good for that alright guys uh, thanks for listening to the video and thanks for Will for having me on the channel like Comment, share, and subscribe down below. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys really, you know, listen to what Jordan had to say about his past and, you know, some of the things that he learned growing up playing at the top levels. I hope you guys can learn something from this, and I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and share. It'll help me out a lot. And also, guys, I'm going to try to throw as much content as I can every single day to you guys so if you guys have any other recommendations or comments please put them down below if you want to message me personally my dms you can also do that but anyways guys please make sure you're staying determined driven and disciplined and i'm going to catch you guys next time peace out